Sprint right for Sims. Looking downfield, and it is intercepted. That is Asante Samuel Jr. And he's got a blocker in front, but he's dragged down that time by Jack DeFour, the senior lineman. But mistake number one for the freshman quarterback, Sims. Asante. This is just something you learn as a young player. You have to negotiate defenders with your eyes, or else you'll see one of the best corners in all of college football make a playoff. Georgia Tech. Sims. That is intercepted. And once again, it's Asante Samuel Jr. Can you believe this? Two times Jeff Sims brings Georgia Tech down the field in his first half, and two times Asante Samuel Jr. picks him off. Backfield, he's waiting for it. Picks it off like stealing candy from a baby as seven holes take over. I got the fuse, you got the light. The all of your Helmets on, has to go back out there. And this is not a good punt. Nice Germano high and very short, but it's dropped over there. Hope came charging up. Is this the break the Seminoles needed? It was so short a punt that it was awkward to field it. And the second time that he's lost a punt this year, Miami's offense doesn't have a turnover, but he's muffed a couple of punts on the recovery. Yeah, there were, if it, you know, a, a mental error. He's out of control there, just trying to get underneath the ball. And, he finally gets to it and actually was in position. He just wasn't able to secure it. And Asante Samuel, as you said, right there. For the law, foul against Florida State. This is a long pass down the seam. Intercepted in the secondary near the 10-yard line. Asante Samuel, Jr. Interception number three on the season for Asante Samuel Jr. That was pretty easy. He had, he had an easy one against Georgia Tech. Jeff Sims. ...list for the big night tonight. The gift to Kyron Williams, leading rusher on this team. He'll get you. Lost the football as well. It's free. It looks like Florida State's on the bottom of that pile. And they have it, so Florida State has come up with the turnover. Notre Dame does not turn it over very often. And this is what Coach Kelly was worried about, knocking the rust off Kyron Williams' first live carry in three weeks. And this is unusual for him. You don't see that ball come out from him very often. Fumbles just what Florida State needed. As you look, you watch Williams' knee just coming down with the ball coming out. So that's a clear fumble and recovery for the better players for Notre Dame's defense. Mastromato kicking 48 yards and muffed. Lawrence Keyes didn't catch it clean. And Florida State comes up with the recovery. It's been a couple of weeks since he's been back in a and we talked about our Australian rules punter and just a different spin on the ball. Uh, uh, and it's just uh, a difficult ball to catch. Jada, Devin Travis on the right. Oh boy. And that pass is intercepted to the delight of all Seminole fans. Joshua Kando, the pick six. This is his first career interception, Redshirt Jr. from Baltimore who spent some time at IMG Academy here in Florida. Again, North Carolina's refusal to throw the football down the field. Florida State is just guessing now on a lot of these short throws. There's horizontal throws, but there's not vertical. So just things to consider if you're Florida State defensively as they get that punt away. Barely. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All the way uh -oh. back. Potentially uh -oh. scooped up and taken by the Knowles, and they're going to stop it at the 10 yard line and give it to the Knowles. So it was Burns who had trouble with it. Chance to just save it and fall on it. It looked like a couple times he tried to pick it up and, and run with it and just you turn into almost the fumble on the ground defender type of deal. Just go in there and cradle it. And save. So here is Hockman with Houston in the backfield. Bailey loads and throws and broken up incomplete. Brownlee back there on a ball. Was it, in, was it intercepted? 
Jarvis Brownlee may have come up with the pick here. Right here, they may need multiple looks at. Well, uh, if, if this is a catch, this is WRU material. It bounces around, gets caught in between his legs. It That's never touches the ground, That's, a Wes, that's an interception. That is wide wow. receiver new material. Yes, it is. Much challenge yet. Duke hasn't been able to throw the ball downfield. Rice now trying to get downfield. Ball tipped and intercepted. That's not for Dean. Looking for blockers inside the 20. Brought down at the 14. Plus tackles last year. is injured for a lot of this one, but he has come back last week. Really opportunistic off the tip ball, and that's been kind of the trend for Duke. You know, it's been tips, it's been overthrows, it's been, you know, timing routes off. Last thing I want is to get him hurt in this game. Pressure on the edge. Bryce throws it up. Marwini almost makes the catch, but it's intercepted. Looked like it came out a little bit funny from Chase Bryce's hands. You got out there. But right here, there's more weedy. And then the ball just flicks back into a falling down Brandon Gant. How about this guy, Brandon Gant, too? You know, he's once a third string safety. He's playing now. He's also on all the kickoff teams. The punt teams may unanswered. It makes him feel good right now. Florida State looks like they want to bring pressure. Bryce now, can he get a gun with his legs? Gets hit hard at the marker. Ball comes out. Florida State recovered the fumble. Let's see how the officials spot it. It's a yeah, fumble they, they, and recovered by the Knowles. Down as well. Take a look at the end of this play. Rolling out to his left. Oh, my goodness. Big number, 44. Seven-point game at the half. Seminoles have scored 14 unanswered here in the second. Neamont backpedaling, throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted. Just running into traffic. Well, there's Jake Bobo right there on a little stop route. Sorry, it was Marweedy coming across the field. Wow, what a one-handed catch. I didn't even see that on the initial one. Hey-oh, give me that.